G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. A few little maintenance jobs on the van, decorative stuff, all cosmetic, make it look pretty blingy inside. Spring, why not? But I've had enough. I've done plenty of tarting the van up and now it's time to go out and play. I'm gonna grab the X100F, go for a bit of a walk around a local bush, which is called Moncton Bush Reserve. I've been there a couple of times before, it's a beautiful spot. So we're just gonna revisit it. Have a look around the place we've got an absolutely beautiful blue sky day not very good for photography really what photography really likes a blue sky so we're going to get in the bush line and we're just going to look for light shade patterns texture you know the kind of stuff try and make eight or nine ten maybe a dozen photographs and see how it goes so uh, let's crack on guys the very loose plan for this shoot is to just walk explore enjoy get out of the blue sky and hold a few photographs so this swing bridge is actually new wasn't here last time I came. What a beautiful start to the trip. Loving it. Just gonna wander, just see what we can find. Just because there's a little bit of light on the trees there with darkness all around, I think that's gonna make quite a nice little shot. There's a little detail shot on this dead tree trunk. With just a little bit of light hitting the broken down timbers there. It ain't gonna win no awards, but I like it. It's very nice, quite nice. Let's just try and go from that angle there. You've probably got a close of my backside. This is a better angle, looking down the down the length of the trunk there. And you've got the, the broken down timbers in a nice little bit of light. I'm just gonna bump up the ISO quite a bit on this. It's quite dark. We'll go for ISO 1600, nice. And then you've got this sort of green foliage, the green moss along the, uh, along the trunk, looks good. Now the reason the high ISO is not concerning me at all today, this is just strictly a pleasure shoot. I'm certainly not going to blow any of these photographs up. No way, no how. There's nothing going to harm my walls. Uh, primarily because I don't have any walls. I live in a van. So woodland, forest photography, is not easy. You've got to try and find elements that stand out from the chaos all around. This gnarly old tree here, for me, stands out. So let's, uh, let's give it a shot. Just one shot. I like it. Move on. I'd actually forgotten what a beautiful walk this was. So this is a punga fern. And it stands out quite nicely. I've shot it on a vertical format just so I can incorporate the uh, bright lit leaves at the bottom. What a beautiful, beautiful location. What we've got here is some fluff, some sort of pollen, some sort of seed carrying floaty thing. What I'm looking for is not just the light, but how dark the background is, which makes the light subject stand out like dogs. Now, I quite like that. For no other reason than it's got light, it's got shade, it's got colour, it's got texture. A totally broken down tree stump with a green, I'm guessing that's where it's been, been chopped, but you've got like a green plateau on the top. And to my stupid little imagination, a little football field on top of a hill. Yeah. Either way, it's a nice little photograph. Oh, the old knees, the old knees. Nice little shot. Come on. Two trees in darkness in the foreground. We've got the third tree dead center in a bit of light. Need a lot more ISO on that one. It's quite dark in there, despite that bit of light. Now, incredibly, the last time I did this walk, this was one of my favourite shots. I'm pretty damn sure it was this, this leaf. And all I did last time was isolate the foliage against the dark, against the dark water. Let's see if we can make it work. Okay, uh, that's not too shabs. I prefer the original. I'll put a link to the original up there, guys. This tree is steeped in texture and pattern. A little bit of light shade. I like that. I do like that. While I'm shooting this tree, I've just looked behind, just to the tree at the right. That made quite a nice shot as well. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Oh, this side of the tree is just absolutely full of pattern and texture. The other side is, uh, is quite nice, but this side, but there's no light on this side, unfortunately. Just because of the dark background and the strong light on the tree, it's making quite a nice shot. Just get back a little bit further, try and get a bit more of the tree in. The vertical works nice. From memory, we're almost at the end of the walk now. It's around about two hours, but if you factor in the amount of time I've been placing the camera, going back to the camera, getting the shot, going back for the camera, blah, blah, blah. 
about five hours. I can't stress enough the importance of looking for light. Once you start looking for it, you see it absolutely everywhere. Just as importantly as finding light, you've got to look at a way to isolate the subject and the light from the background. So look for something dark in the background, something that's not going to distract too much. Quite nice. And this is quite a nice little shot. This small tree, lichen, moss, whatever it is on it. Like a dead straw colored thing surrounding it. Nice. I like that. I like it. So this guys is going to be the last shot of the day, shooting into the light just to make that growth on the on the branch stand out quite well. Just looking to isolate the foreground from the background, which isn't actually that easy on this shot. That's better, I think I've got it. Nothing like manipulating the scene. Quite nice. And that guys is the end of the walk. I've really enjoyed that, I hope you have too. Always look for the light, always. And get out in nature and just enjoy yourself. All right guys, until next time, thanks for watching. Catch you later.